start you guys out with a little warm up on how I warm up my guys in my, on, uh, my program. Um, basically, in, in my wrestling room, we don't jog to warm up. We don't stretch to get stretched. What we do, everything is wrestling related. So usually what I have them do is I have them start drilling nice and slow for about three minutes. After that, they drill a takedown to the back. Then it's five seconds live. All right, just see your reaction time. That way you're on the mat. Chances are nobody's going to get hurt from, uh, from uh, you know, and, and then for as far as stretching, we'll get a guy in like a power half and just roll it up a few times. We'll get a one-on-one -on -one wrist, have the guy rotate it out as he does, follow through with a hat just to loosen him up. Uh, as you said, right here. Just a couple little warm-up things that we we'll do. Flat, stomach. As far as warm-up. Get a one-on-one -on -one wrist, guy rotates it out, you put on a hat and you just stretch them out, grab the one-on-one -on -one wrist again, here, follow it through with a hat, stretch them out, grab the one-on-one -on -one wrist on the other side, as he rotates it out, half, right here, as he rotates it out, half, just stretching them out, all right? Then you get up here with a power hat, right to here, just loosen it up a little bit, right to here, on both sides, everything is wrestling related. All right, and then as far as conditioning, we don't do sprints and that kind of stuff for conditioning, we do speed drilling because my goal in two hours is to get at least three hours worth of work in a two hour practice. And if we spend 25 minutes on a warm up, and then 25 minutes on conditioning that is not wrestling related, we just lost 50 minutes, that means we have an hour and 10 minutes of practice as opposed to three hours in a two hour time span. I'm gonna maximize everything. So, what I'm gonna have you do, is get with a partner, nice and slow, move the guy, change your level, good penetration. That will be If you don't have a partner, raise your hand, keep it raised until you find one. If you can't find one, get in a group of three. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Make sure you don't land in the other